Welcome back to the News Hour. Well, he compares himself to legendary investors such as Warren Buffett. He promises incredible returns on your money, but is it all too good to be true? Sean O'Shea is on his case in tonight's Consumer SOS. Sean. Well, Leslie, those great returns were said to be in the range of 1% a week. But the flow of money grounded to a halt when this particular investor was charged with fraud. Still, he intends to clear his name and to start trading again. For ordinary investment, is outrageous. It is. Weizen Tang says he's no ordinary investment manager. You're smarter than the other investors on the street. Yeah, I'm. I'm I think I'm on the top. I'm top one percent. <laughs> one percent is an important number for Tang. I can make one percent any any time, anywhere. You know, that's the king of one percent. You know? It's the selling tool he puts on his website and his books, where he describes himself as the Chinese Warren Buffett, after the second richest man in America. People love me, you know, on Wall Street. But it's in Toronto where Tang has been selling his get-rich investment system to people like Pete. I can cannot believe it. It's true. I cannot get my money back. Lin invested half a million dollars with Tang, other Chinese immigrants to Canada. Their money lost or frozen when the Ontario Securities Commission ordered Tang to stop trading. I can make their money back like this quick. Tang faces a dozen charges of securities fraud, allegations he ran a kind of Ponzi scheme that cost investors $40 million. It's nothing fraud. A 1% investment return per week is huge. Most investment managers would be hard-pressed to get 10% per year. Experts say you need to be cautious about any claims about future returns. For them to be able to claim to beat the market year over year uh, is, is a falsehood. Tom Hamza is president of the Investor Education Fund. They're coming at you with, with claims uh, that don't, don't uh, really stand scrutiny. Uh, you, you really should walk away. It changed uh, uh, my, my life. But in Ways and Tang's living room... I, you know, I raised $60 million. The self-proclaimed king of 1% says it's all for real. He shows me returns on a fantasy trading account. He can't trade real money now, but says if securities regulators rescind his trading ban, the real cash will start flowing. All business will be back. So everybody will be happy when they go to money. Except maybe the Ontario Securities Commission. Next week, a hearing will decide whether Tang can trade again. He's been asking investors to petition the OSC on his behalf. The securities fraud case is set for next April. If you're ever confronted with an investment manager that makes big promises, here's some advice from experts. Make sure the person has a license. See if they can back up their claims with proof and in all likelihood. One investment guru rarely earns better returns than the market as a whole, not even the real Warren Buffett. Well, Toronto